construction of the Cody Hall International Brick Day began in the year 2022 in the month of December. The Canadian and the US sites are expected to meet over the Detroit River by the end of June 2024. The project team will begin the final steps to connect the brick deck over the Detroit River, with 26 meters or 85 feet remaining, which is the same width as official National Hockey League rink. Unlike any other 54 segment that makes up the bridge deck, the mid span closure is custom built with the installation process taking approximately 4 to 6 weeks and multiple steps. Over the next 4 to 6 weeks, a multi step process will be initiated to commence the brick deck connection. One more segment on the US side that measures about 15 meters or 49 feet needs to be installed before work starts on the final segment, known as the mid span closure. Over the next 4 to 6 weeks, a multi step process will be initiated to commence the brick deck connection. One more segment on the US side that measures 15 meters needs to be installed before work starts on the final segment known as the mid-span closure. Once connected, the brick deck between the two iconic towers will measure 853 meters, making it the longest cable stayed bridge in North America. The multi-step process includes six temporary bracing pieces will be installed to hold the deck in alignment. Engineers will physically measure the gap again. An exact measurement is needed to ensure a perfect fit when installing the component for the mid-span closure. Two structural steel edge girders will then be installed. The first edge gilded is bolted to the US side, then to the Canadian side. This sequence is repeated for the second edge gilder. Removal of templar closure beams and wind struts will then be proceeded with. The remaining component for the mid span closure, including floor beams and precast panels, will then be installed, followed by installation of concrete precast panels and complete bolting of all mid span closure components. After the brick deck is connected, there will still be plenty of work remaining before the bridge opens in fall 2025. One last set of steel cables must be installed, followed by electrical, fire suppression and drainage systems, barriers, lightning, deck paving and pavement markings, and complete the multi-use path. The multi-use path will be toll-free and include one lane that will accommodate two-way pedestrian and cyclist traffic. The bridge features 216 stay cables with 108 on each side of the bridge. The remaining cables will be installed mid-June once the bridge deck is connected. Once a physical connection is made over the Detroit River, the bridge is treated as an international crossing by Canada Border Service Agency in the US Custom and Border Protection, resulting in both agencies having a presence on respective bridge sites and all individuals assessing the brick deck, including construction crews, 
will be subject to the rules and legislation for international crossings. Progress continues on the Canadian and US port of entry and the Michigan interchange.